All right, you guys. So today I'm making my very first vegan soul food plate at my new apartment. So I'm just boiling some potatoes and carrots. I have all my seasonings ready for the mac and cheese sauce and I'm really excited. All right, so this is what's on the pot so far. Got the macaroni going. I'm also working on a dessert and it's kind of like a cheesecake, but instead of a graham cracker crust, it's gonna be a sugar cookie crust. And honey, it's gonna be good as hell. All right, we got the asparagus prepped, but I'm not cooking it until the very end so they don't get soggy. All right, honey, now for these baked beans, okay? So I got some vegan sausage, got the sweet heat baked beans. I need a little spice, all right? Cut up some bell peppers, and we're gonna let this sit until the end. And baby, I love bell peppers in my, uh, my shits, whatever they call. All right, so as I was peeling potatoes, I cut my entire nail off. Not cool. All right, the cheese sauce, we got the potatoes, we got carrots, we got onions, sun-dried tomatoes, and olive oil, and I'm gonna put some nutritional yeast in it, and I'm gonna blend it all until it's nice and creamy. So everyone uses nutritional yeast in their vegan mac to give it like a cheesy quote-unquote flavor, and I, actually, I mean, I like it, but I don't want it to be overbearing, so a lot of people put like two cups, three cups, you know, of nutritional yeast in it, but I'm just going with the half cup, and I'm just going to leave it at that. All right, that's how we like it, creamy, thick, real thick. All right, so now we have our macaroni noodles. I'm gonna pour the cheese sauce over it and I'm going to stretch it out with a little bit of olive oil um, because it might be a little too thick. I'm not sure, but let's see. Listen, when you use regular cheese, it already has like a sodium content and flavor. So we use potatoes <laughs> and carrots. So we have to kind of over season. So I got my salt, onion powder, garlic powder, got some Caribbean seasoning, and we gonna make it tasty. All right, so we're gonna do our first mix and taste test. Normally when I make mac and cheese, it's not perfect on the first try or second, or even third. So I'm not gonna be surprised if I have to go round two, round three with the seasonings. All right, taste test. Mm, nah, we need another round. All right, second taste test. Mm, nah, it's mm mm. It ain't there yet. Another round. Third taste test. No, 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 no. I mean, it's it's almost there. But this next one, gonna be the one.
fourth taste test. Oh yeah, that's it, <laughs> that's it. All right, so now that the flavor is perfect, I'm gonna take my spoon and level out the top so we can start preparing it for the oven. All right, my mama told me, all right, before you put your mac and cheese in the oven, make sure you clean the corners and clean the edges so it don't look all burnt and crispy and, <laughs> you know, just make it look nice and neat and the presentation is just better. So let's work on this crust, all right? So for some color, I always add paprika because my mom always adds paprika. And we're gonna add breadcrumbs on top and then we're gonna go after with some butter, put some scoops of butter on top so when it melts, it just makes this nice, crunchy, mm, just mm, <laughs> crust for the mac and cheese. All right, last but not least, let's take the butter, put it over the top and whew, chow. First of all, this don't even look vegan. All right, this looks like my mom's mac and cheese. <laughs> I can't wait, I, I can't wait. All right, oven time. So for this dessert, we're gonna take our sugar cookies and mash them. Oh, wow. I think I'm gonna have to blend these. All right, so now that I blended the cookies in the blender, now we can make the crust how it's supposed to be <laughs> with a lot less effort than using that spoon that I was trying to use for some reason. First, I'm gonna add some almond milk and just try to like, you know, mash it with the fork and see if it can create like a doughy crust situation. All right, that was definitely not working. So we're gonna try butter. And um, listen, let's get dirty because this fork ain't, listen, my hands can do way more than this little fork can. All right, so now that we have a sugar cookie dough crust thing, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pat it at the bottom of the pan. All right, now for the cheesecake-like filling. So we have some cashews that I boiled to make them soft. I'm gonna put them in the blender, add some honey, some dates, and some almond milk, and that's it. So this filling is kind of thick, you know, on the thick side. So I'm gonna have to keep adding some vanilla almond milk periodically so we can loosen it up and get it to like a creamy texture. All right, we are done. Now let's taste it. Oh my. Oh my God, oh my God, it's so good. Oh my God. All right, so now let's pour this creamy filling on top of our crust and oh my gosh, I really cannot wait for this. Like the thing that I have to work on is getting it to actually set in its form. The last time I made this, it was like a soupy mess. It was still good, but it was soupy. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to bake it this time. I don't know if I'm gonna have to freeze it. I don't know, but let's see. Oh my gosh! All right, it's ready. Now we can stick it in the oven and make our berry topping. All right, so for the topping, we have strawberries and blackberries. I'm gonna put both in the blender, add some dates, some honey, and some water, blend it up, and we're just gonna pour it on top. All 
Oh yeah, and I forgot, since we are some healthy bitches, I got some elderberry syrup and we're going to boost this up and honey, this dessert has turned into a superfood, okay? All right, so now I'm going to put this mixture in a pot because I have this theory that it's going to caramelize. Don't know. All right, you guys, I'm so excited. So here's everything cooking. Um, the potato salad I'm making last. I'm about to go do my makeup so I can get ready for this mukbang and I'm excited. So I will see y'all later. And little man, get away from me because you was not getting none, okay? anything I only ate a sandwich today and that was this morning so I'm ready to eat <laughs> all right let's take a look at this plate oh my Christ okay oh my <laughs> the mac and cheese is <clears throat> really <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry the mac and cheese is good as hell oh my god I've tried mac and cheese from so many different vegan restaurants and I've never tried a mac and cheese that tasted like this like I swear to God, it does not taste vegan. I swear, it doesn't. It's so good. And it doesn't taste like the regular vegan mac and cheese that I usually get. Like, when I get mac and cheese from a vegan restaurant, it usually has like a, like a very strong flavor of nutritional yeast. And I didn't use that much in this recipe, so it's not overpowering. And it actually tastes like mild, like how cheese would taste, <clears throat> but it's seasoned so well. <laughs> I'm a food scientist. All right, let's try these baked beans, boy. I love me some beans. So good. So good. And this was like the spicy, the sweet and spicy, whatever it was, sweet heat baked beans so they have like a little kick to them stop playing on me stop playing with the girl all right the asparagus see the thing with asparagus is It gotta be cooked just right. I love my asparagus soft, but it can't be too soft. It has to have a little bit of crunch in there. <laughs> my roasted tomato with the roasted garlic all up through it. Let's get every little, little bit of everything right here. Oh, my finger, <laughs> the heck. That Skinner tried to skin me. Mm. Oh my. When I tell you that garlic, the first garlic that I put on the tomato, it made the whole tomato just taste like one big roasted garlic delicious tomato. <laughs> Man, this shit is crazy. I can't believe I just did this. Like, where the hell did this come from? 
the potato salad. Now, one thing I will say with the potato salad that I messed up on is I didn't season the water when I was boiling the potatoes. So even though the mayo and everything tastes seasoned, it's like once you get past the, the nice good season part, it's like the potatoes bland. So that's the only thing that I'm gonna change next time because I didn't know. So next time I'm gonna season that water real good when I boil my potatoes. I might even put a bag of um of seafood boil. <laughs> So good oh my god i'm so impressed with myself <laughs> like what like this mac and cheese is something i've never had before it's so good i could just cry right now And you know, I really wasn't planning on doing a mukbang. Cause I just wanted to eat shit. But I told myself every time I watch food videos <laughs> and they don't eat the food at the end, I'll be getting pissed off. <laughs> like, bitch, why didn't you eat it? So I had to eat it. I had to show you guys the joy. <laughs> If y'all never had a roasted tomato, I seasoned it with salt, um, olive oil, and I put fresh garlic on it. That's it. Roasted it on 300. If y'all never had that with y'all meals or y'all breakfast, <clears throat> y'all need to get on it. It's so good. Man. I'm impressed. <laughs> what am I, Chef Breezy? Like, what is this? Come on, man. What you want, man? Oh, man, you want some food? Want me to give you one of your beans? I give you a sausage. All right, go on. Go on now. All right, so let's try this dessert. So, <clears throat> obviously I didn't allow it to sit in the fridge long enough, but baby, who worried about it? Um, let's go ahead and give this a taste. at the cookie mm. you know I'm so glad I didn't make the strawberry and the um the strawberry uh, blackberry sauce too too sweet because the cookie crust is already very sweet so it kind of counteracts it gives it like a very refreshing flavor and if this just looked like a block, if it looked, you know, more presentable, you, it would be perfect. But I have to get these desserts right. <laughs> because this is the second time I made this and it does, it tastes tremendously better, but it's still <clears throat> not looking how it should. <laughs> mm. First time I made this, I made it with, um, I made the crust with walnuts, dates, and almond milk. But the vegan sugar cookies, <laughs> 10 times better, 10 times better. It's, it's 10 times better. <clears throat> Back to this. Man. Who loves bell peppers in their baked beans? 
I didn't even know. I didn't even know that was the secret. That's the whole secret. Mm. I swear for God, this mac and cheese gotta get patented. Because <clears throat> that shit out of control. That recipe has to get patented. Can I even do that? Everything is seasoned so well. Sis, I love you forever. See, the only thing that I did wrong with that, <clears throat> with that tomato was, I didn't make two. <laughs> I wish I had another one on my plate right now because that's how good it is. Shit, that uh, asparagus had, uh, had the wires in it. <clears throat> it was mac and cheese out of control. Ain't no other way to tell y'all. <laughs> Ain't no other way to tell you how it's going on. Oh. I invited my dad over for dinner tomorrow and I can't wait, okay? I can't wait because he's gonna be so impressed and he's gonna be like, oh, this is vegan? I'm gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> I swear, if y'all tasted this, y'all would not care about eating meat no more. You wouldn't even care. It's so. All right, now I'm getting full. <laughs> now I'm just getting full at this point. Mm. The mac and cheese is so good and so mild and seasoned <laughs> mm. and the crust on the mac and cheese the breadcrumbs with the butter on top out of control <clears throat> Out of control. I'm not gonna lie, that potato salad is lacking. <laughs> that shit lacking. But it's all good, it's all good, I learned. I'm never gonna not season my water again. Uh -uh. playing with the kid, bro. <laughs> I'm about to open my own vegan restaurant. And that's just facts. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> mm. 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 That last mushroom was so good. <laughs> Perfectly seasoned, I swear. Mm. Um, nom, 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 nom. Oh, get away from me. <laughs> get away from me.
Nuh -uh. I need some water ASAP. Got my alkaline water with the Shungite stone to purify the water. And it has some lemon juice in it. Oh. 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 All right, guys. Uh, you know, you know what's so funny what I was just about to say? I was about to say I'm about to take a nap. But because the food had no animal products and there was nothing really weighing me down, I'm actually not tired at all. Like, I'm ready to edit this whole video, probably. <laughs> I'm ready to do some other shit and probably ready to record another video. So yeah, that's the thing about vegan food is that like after you eat a big plate, like you don't get the itis. Like that doesn't happen. You know, when you were in elementary school and they told you food gives you energy, except for after you came back from lunch, you will sleep in fourth period. So <laughs> it's like the exact opposite when you eat a big plate of just vegetables, <laughs> you know? So, I had a fun time like I had a fun time recording I had an even better time eating and I really hope y'all try this like if you're trying to have a vegan Thanksgiving Thanksgiving if you're trying to have a vegan Thanksgiving dinner then these recipes can definitely be on your table and not make anyone be like why the hell did I come here they will enjoy it they will love it love it love it so thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, listen, do that. <laughs> Make sure you go ahead and do that and turn on your notifications. See y'all later.